Hey Lord Bear, welcome back to Dire Wolf, yeah, not Dire Wolf, holy crap. It's FTV1 now, bleh. I'm so used to saying Dire Wolf 20, there's a creeper outside my house. Um, so, what I want to do today is, is, is very, very simple. Uh, well, on, at least on the surface, it should be simple. Uh, you know, you say that, and then, uh, you know, your house blows up. But that's, that's the usual around here. So, uh, I want to make a stone hoe, and I kind of want to get to farming at least a little bit for, uh, reasons that will come right after this. I do want to also eventually work on my uh, mining gadget, but that is on the back of burger right now. Uh, wheat in particular is what I want. I guess I could, cra I could uh, plant uh, carrots and... I thought I had potatoes as well. Didn't I have potatoes? It's only uh, poisonous potatoes. Oh. Potatoes somehow ended up in here, but that's fine. That would uh highlighting thing. It's actually pretty neat. I like it. I think that was back in any eye that was a feature. And uh finally made its way back into Oh a mod. Was not expecting that. Okay, that's fine. Also I might as well plant sugar cane because I know we have it. Okay, cool. So here's the plan. I want to plant down a few things, right? We'll plant down oh, I don't know, let's say that much hurricane, right? And then over here in this area I'm building up, I kind of want to plant uh, normal seeds for a variety of reasons. Uh, primarily, well, there's one primary reason, but I kind of need to have the seeds planted before I can discuss that reason in full depth. So, let's get a few seeds if we can. And we already have kind of like something here that would actually look like it would be kind of cool for, for planting, but we're not going to utilize that. Uh, so, we're gonna actually probably, I don't know if they're gonna to fill that in, but I'd like to fill that in. We have to do that later. Um, so let's, actually, yeah, let's, let's build it over here, because I don't want it to be right next to the house, right next to the house. I want something to be, ooh, wait, no, maybe I do want it to be right next to the house. Change my mind. Yeah, I want it to be right next to the house. I want the other thing to be farther away, for reasons you'll see. So, I'm gonna put down just water here, and this is just a standard vanilla farm. Ooh, maybe I should just go... A little bit more up that way. Uh, I'm trying to maximize farm space, so you are going to... Oh, well, you're not going to die, but... Okay, these two blocks I don't want. I guess I can't... Uh, they probably some sort of anti-trample mod in here. Uh, is that good? Yeah, it's probably good. We get one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool, and what I just do is I'm going to fill in the rest of this. And this is going to be used for... Uh, for, for food and for other things as well. So that's, that's the, the main goal here. So it's gonna go over here. So in particular, I wanted seeds planted for a, a, a good reason, but I can kind of show off. Okay, so that's gonna be our little seeded area. You're gonna be our beetroot area. You're gonna be our potato area, and you're gonna be our carrot area. Now, again, like I said, I don't have a lot to fill that in yet, but that's that's fine. We'll fill that in as time goes on, and we get more, you know, more crops popping up in there. Uh, as of right now, we're not going to have, like, any crops in there, so it's all it's all right. Uh, let me mine out these few pieces of dirt. I don't like how they're kind of sticking up out of the, the ground here. I'm just trying to see if I can find a few extra seeds before we start the other thing I wanted to do today. Which is looking like probably not. And uh, I might just for future, for my, for my future reference, just... I don't really like how this looks right now, and I might like how I might be fine with how it looks, you know, in 25 minutes from now. But cool, I'm gonna do that, and just so I remind myself that off camera, let's just chisel away at that land right there, because I, I don't really like how that's uplifted as well. So you're my seed area. Now what I want to do is I want to get those chickens that are over there to my base, which is why I said I actually want the other thing further away. I don't want the chickens right outside my door. I just realized that seconds after I was like, oh wait a second, no. You know, that there was a reason why I had to do this in order. I want the chickens further away. Because uh, chickens make noise, if you didn't know. And I don't want noise in my window, or yeah, my door, ears 24-7. Now, you might be like, well, how are you going to, uh, you know, bring the chickens over here? And how are you going to store the chickens? And those are both very good questions. I'm working on both of which right now. So, spruce fence, very simple. It was also very simple as just taking, like, a barrel. And I need a chest as well. But just taking a chest and, you know, uh, that's how we're going to store stuff. Uh, one. I might as well just make two chests. 
I, I don't think I'm going to need, because yeah, then if I have a chest under, I can upgrade it later. We're going to be storing uh, whatever they drop in a chest, which is why I'm saying this. Uh, I want, we have two there. How many more iron do we have? Uh, yeah, there is a fun way we can do this, and there's also just the really simple vanilla way. So we're going to do it the simple vanilla way and not get into modded fun. But we're, we're, like I said, uh, this, this is pretty simple. So basically, we take chickens, put them above Hopper. Hopper puts stuff in the chest, and that's that's pretty simple. Uh, I don't think I can get much more simple than than that. Now the question is how to get the chickens over here. So what I want to do is I want to probably put you right there, and put you right there, and then let's grab some deep slate, I guess, or some cobble. I'm not sure. I have more deep slate, so I say that. But let's grab cobble and deep slate because I think this will look better with cobble and deep slate. And we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little. Yeah, let's do like a little cobblestone rim, right? And then, actually, yeah, no, let's do hop where we want to be deep slate, I think. So we'll do it. So we'll do deep slate up here. And that, which is why, kind of why I wanted a cobblestone rim. I'm going to do this just for my sanity, so I can get up on top of it if I ever need to. But we're going to just put the chickens in this little container right here, and then they spit out stuff into there. And be like, well, how are you going to get the chickens in there? You've already fenced it off, and it's going to be terribly annoying to get chickens over a fence. And you'd be right, my dear viewer. But that's not done. Um, or we're not done yet, I actually, I should say. There's a few different options. There is the mob capturing tool, which uh, we can make one or two of. I'm not sure if it's reusable, so I don't want to quite do that. We could, um, actually, I think that's called like a chicken catcher. Uh, and for for particular for chickens, yeah, chicken catcher, which I don't have feathers, so I might not want to do that option because I don't want to harm the chickens over there. Uh, there is also uh, shrink, which is if we look at shrink, there's two items right there. Is the glass bottle, which we can use to capture an empty and a personal shrinking device. It's gonna use an ender pearl, but it's gonna be the most reliable. It's also going to need a little bit of iron, which I don't know if we have enough iron for it. I mean, I don't know if we have enough, like, smelted iron for it. Uh, I should probably smelt a little bit more iron. We don't have to, like, worry too, too much now about us running out of resources. So, as much as it pains me, Ender Pearls are probably going to be the easiest to get back. And this is going to work the most in the long run. So, let's do this. Ah! Uh, so, it's going to take me a... Oh, I need stone as well. Probably be in my best interest to just take some cobblestone and bite the bullet on just smelting it so I have it. So, uh, you're your cobble, you're that, you're that, you're that, you're that. Okay, yeah, so what else can I do here? Uh, do I have glass? Yes, I do have glass. So, I can take is I could just take maybe two sets of bottles, six. I might have to make two trips of that still, but that's fine. I need one more piece of glass. And piece of stone. Turns into button. I just need a little bit of my iron back. I forgot I kind of need the iron in my inventory for this process. So we make the personal shrinking device, right? And I guess I'll throw you in there and you in there. Uh, in theory, I should be able to charge this in here. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of power that it needs. I'll take just a little bit more of my, uh, you know, charcoal and throw it in there. Just to keep this kind of filled. I wonder, I'm not sure if I can put power in or out of there, which I am going to figure out at some point. So if I want to with shrink, I can go, well, I don't think it worked. Uh, can't open while shrunk. Apparently I am shrunk. But, okay, yeah, so I can shrink down to the too tall, right? Did I? It seems like it's sending me right back. Okay, yeah. So here I am, two blocks tall. I could also... I don't want to be shrunk forever, guys. It's kind of acting glitchy. Oh no, I need to, I need to recharge it. I didn't realize it was so, so few charges. Okay, I want it to be big again. There we go, I'm big again. I could also go massive. It's going to be terrible for me to try to get down from this, but... There we go, I think it's like 10 blocks tall, and if I do, oh, as you can see, right now I'm like, pretty tall. Uh, it doesn't really render, right? But, 
Uh, it says I'm shrunk, but I'm not shrunk. Oh, I'm I'm kind of stuck in big mode now. Uh, I don't want to open it. I want to go back. Help! Well, anyways, I think I'm shrunk. And is my shift bar broken? I want to go back. I want to go back. I'm stuck big now. Oh, I think I'm crawling. That's why. That's okay. Yeah, this is this is more like it. Still kind of broken, but now I should be able to. There we go. I'll throw you back in there. What I want to do is I want to turn you back down to super small. Small as possible, right? And basically what we can do, right, with it as small as possible, so I might as well sleep quickly, is we can go to chickens, shrink them down, put them in the bottle, and capture them. And then we can bring them over there to what my friends like to call the sin bin. I just call it the chicken containment unit. Uh, the CCU for short. I mean, we can call it the sin bin. We can call it whatever we want to, to be honest. Normally, uh, we, we call it the sin bin because we took the naughty uh, low-stat chickens from the chickens mod and threw them in there, but uh, I don't quite know how the chickens mod has changed, and these aren't really low-stat chickens. These are just vanilla chickens. So, I believe I hit... Do I hit you with it? How do I... Uh... It's not hitting them with it, I assume. Oh, it is hitting them with it. Okay. Get over here. There we go. And it, it does seem kind of glitchy, so I'm not going to be using this on myself. I'm only going to be really using this for chickens because it is giving me problems. And it might just be the instance of the game, or it might just be the fact that I'm bad. So, uh, yeah. And it's already it runs out of power so quickly in this pack. That and I, I'm also spamming it trying to get out of the, the small farm, and it's just giving me issues, so... Get over here, chicken. There should be another one. Somewhere here. Oh, did I go down here? It did. Uh, cool. I'm just going to go around quite the rest of these chickens because, yeah, chicken. So I'm pretty sure for catch and release, it might actually be a little bit more difficult than I intended because they, they do come back, uh, you know, at a small size and... Yeah, I don't. I don't want you to be small. I mean, I guess you're kind of stuck in there, so I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. But like now, you're probably not stuck. So what I might need to do is I might need to devise a better way of getting them back to full scale before putting them in there. But oh, I know a way to do that. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of engineering though first. Ay ay ay. Okay, so here's like step two of our plan. Uh, I want to move egg from there to like. Probably in my house, maybe a basement. Um, to make a basement, that's one thing. And to move stuff in there is another thing. So I think the first step of doing all that is actually getting shears. Going to some sheep and just getting their wool. Because we need approximately 16 pieces of wool. If we want a basement that's super easily accessible via not ladders, essentially. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get wool. Or elevators. I spent the night hunting Enderman. I killed way more than two. I only got two pearls. I killed like upwards of like seven. It was ridiculous. The pearl drops. They're so bad. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna snip some sheep, get some wool, and then from there, it's only a matter of time that I dig out until I have a, a, a basement digged out, dug out. Where are you? You in there? Mr. Sheep, where are you? I hear you. I see you on the map. I don't know where you be. Down in here, maybe? There you are. Are you in a cave? Anyways, I'm gonna go to the sheep. Shear them. We need 16 wool for the shower that... Or, yeah, the shower, the elevator that I want to the basement day that I'm going to make. So, yes, uh, that's step one. Hee <laughs> hee. Give me your wool. Okay, let's get into it. So, we're gonna craft up ourselves... Two elevators. We got quite a bit of wool, actually. We got, like, 19 extra. Uh, I think might as well do the elevator, like, right here. It's a pretty good spot. Put it in. If we want to camouflage it, we can, but I prefer 
not having camouflage on it. We gotta go right down from here, actually, though, so we're gonna break you for a moment. And then we gotta do boom. Uh, that's maybe one more. And this block will be the actual floor of it, and I can just go up and down like that. Ain't that pretty neat? Now I just gotta figure out how many blocks over to the side I wanna go, so I'm gonna go three to the side. One, two, three. Three. This is the, uh, well, this right here should be the wall up there. And I gotta do the same thing the other direction, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so go down over to nine now. One, two, three, four, five. Right, that's five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that should be that. I think I'd like to go one block this way, right? One. Yeah, one block this way. Actually, I should probably go over more, because we're only gonna go one, and we're gonna go one, two, three that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this is gonna be the room where my basement is, so I just gotta kinda clear all this out now in the corners, and I'll be ready to go. So, oh. Yeah, see you in a little bit. Okay, so here's the goal, right? We have chicken out there. We have zombie out there, too, but that's beside the point. We want to get pipes. Pipes are real nice. Uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to move stuff from out there to stuff in here. So what we can do is we can put down a barrel in the wall. I only need one barrel. Like, right there, even, right? Right here is a good spot. Good spot as any. And basically, what the goal is going to be is to pipe stuff in from outside over there at that to, that, to here. Uh, to do so, we're going to need to use... Advanced mechanics like pipes. So, uh, first off, for a pipe, we're gonna need two rods. Actually, we might be able to use sticks. We're lucky. I'm not sure if sticks count as rods, but we'll try that first before um before anything else. So, we'll do that. We need flint as well. Flint. So let me see if this works. Or yeah, it could be sticks. Cool. I was gonna say I don't want to have to use rods if I don't have to. Cool. Um. Then I want to take. You want to make droppers because we're using item pipes, and item pipes need droppers. And for 16 item pipes, it's just like that. Um, now, I don't know if that's going to, 16 is going to be quite enough for that, so I'm going to take two more droppers, and 32 have one, I think, would be enough for that. That's that's quite a bit of item pipe. I don't know. I don't know if 16 was quite enough, and we're going to need them in the future regardless. So I'm not, you know, upset about wasting it now, if, if I do, because I'll, I'll use it later. Okay, cool. So what I could do though, then now is that I have that's weird backup thing. Um, so I want to get over to I guess the center, or well I guess it's not really the center. What is it? Oh, it is. This is the center of the window. So okay, so I want to be centered with the window, and then I want to be down a few blocks at least. So I want to be okay. So, I gotta go down to at least there, because I can't go... I mean, I guess I can go right into the farmland. Would it be better to go down earlier or later, though? I probably want to do this. Yeah, I probably want to start like this. And then go back up here. And then go over to... Do this. Actually, I could do this. Do we? This should theoretically. Okay, that, yeah, that'll get me linked up there. And then. So, actually, what we want to do is we want to get in right close to here then. Right, and it's basically. Okay, we found that. So, then in theory, all we have to do is do this, right? And we'll just pipe into there, right? Nothing uh, extravagant to say, like, you know, pipes are going to insert into there. Th those kind of automatically know to an extent. Um, there, of course, that extent is it's not very flexible, but basically, if there's an, an output there, it will know that it can go there. So, that is the extent of what we really need to know for these pipes to work. However, we will have to tell it if we want to do extract, like we're going to do here. So, I'm going to go here, right, right up to underneath that chest, right? And boom, boom, boom. So yeah, we did, we were gonna need just slightly more than sixteen, which isn't a problem. So what we could do is we could bring. Oh, it's over one more. I did not know. Actually, I, I guess it's in the center, so I just wasn't paying attention more so. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to break all these. So you might be like, okay, cool, that's all hooked up. Why stuff no move? We have to set this to an insert by shift right clicking on that. 
and then it'll start pulling stuff, right? So now what we can do is we can kind of fill all this in, and all the eggs will be getting moved. I covered up the pipes, by the way, but all the eggs will be getting moved into here, which means we have eggs in our house now. We don't have to really go outside to collect them. Any reason why I want to do this in particular? Not in particular, but I did think it'd be cool to use pipes for that. I don't know why I thought it'd be cool, but I wanted to do it, so I did it. Now I have access to eggs inside the house. I mean, I still have to go out here for, like, the wheat and stuff, but that's the wrong spot. Wheat doesn't get planted anymore. I'm planting the other crops once I get just enough of them. I want to fill up my farm. Actually, wait. No, you are your carrot. Your carrot. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing that like that. I probably should, like, bring that to the edge first. Might as well do is I'll do that. Oh, and that's going to be a problem if I do collect, uh, egg like that when I'm out here with my magnet. But I can't really avoid it, so oh well. It's either the, the chicken or the magnet. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Let's do that, and we'll, we'll be, um, we'll be off very merrily. Uh, now, kind of what the next step was with the chickens is by why we're collecting eggs, actually, is because eggs have a nice purpose in this pack. If I were to show you, um, you can use them to make, to make the vanilla stuff, uh, dark utils, mob filters, uh, but you can also use them to make, like, the dye kind of eggs for the uh, chickens mod, or the, I mean, I guess the chicken, the chicken catcher. But uh, there's other things like the illusion wall from Block Carpentry, which I have not seen before. But uh, in the, I guess the other illusion blocks with, uh, with the help of slime. But primarily the dyed chicken eggs we can use to craft. And I'm pretty sure, let's just say, if we look into chickens, right? Uh, if I want a diamond chicken, right? I think that's still in the mod. Diamond, diamond, diamond chicken. Right, if I want to make a diamond chicken, I need a gold chicken and a glass chicken. A gold chicken comes from a yellow chicken and an iron chicken, right? So we need yellow. Iron chicken comes from flint and bone white, so that's that's another dyed chicken. Uh, flint, I guess we have to find in the world. Or there, there has to be a way to get a flint chicken without, like, you know... I thought flint came from dyes as well. I don't know how to get the chickens to be, like, you know, of the, uh, of the starter varieties, but... To get to gold, you like I said, you need. Oh wait, no. To get to um glass, though, you need another quartz and redstone. Redstone comes from red and sand. Sand comes from I don't know where, but uh, nether quartz. I guess actually, as you, I know you can find those in the nether. You used to be able to at least. So there is a little bit of breeding that goes on to get to these these higher tier chickens. I want to get diamond chickens. I want to get all the high tier chickens and all that stuff. But it's gonna take a time to get there. And until we get there, we're gonna need at least start working on the dye chickens. So, uh, there's only a chance to hatch too, which is really, really kind of annoying when it comes to dyed chickens. Uh, we have red, we have a lot of red, we have a lot of yellow, we have white, even reluctantly through skeletons we also have white, so we have two different sources of, for white. I guess I can go kill the squid and get a black, I probably should definitely do that actually, I'm doing that right now. Just so I don't forget, because black is probably used for, I think, I would say coal if I remember correctly, but I might not be remembering correctly, and I might be making that up because... Coal just generally tends to seem black in appearance, so that's why I'm doing this, because I do want to have a, you know, a coal, because we're actually kind of struggling with coal. So, yeah, uh, that is the, the whole entire goal with this, this chicken operation. Uh, is it going to be majorly successful? I'm not sure yet. Could be. Or it could just be that I am um, a wannabe, you know? Uh, I might actually need to look up, like, the chicken's mod, though, because there might be just detailed instructions I'm missing on how to get the, uh, certain chickens. Like, maybe, like, sand chickens only spawn in the desert or something dumb like that, and that would make kind of sense, at least. But I don't know how to get, like, you know, the, the sand chicken from the get-go. Unless they're supposed to spawn in the world, I've been really unlucky with finding them. Although, I mean, half my world is, you know, a giant tundra, though, so, like, sand would be a really odd pick for that. I don't, I don't know, I'm just ma I'm spewing stuff, and it might just be that, you know, on the map they don't show up as, like, their actual chicken kind, they might just show up as a default chicken, because they might be, like, metadata or something like that. They might, since they're using the chicken logic, and they're basically a little the same thing, and inter, you know, interbreedable or whatever. I don't quite know, I probably literally just extend, from the code side, they're literally probably just a chicken that lays slightly different eggs, and the mod has built other capabilities on top of chickens that the newer chickens inherit. I don't, I don't quite know. I'm, I'm a coder by trade, so I'm trying to envision how they would have coded the mod and how I would have coded it. Would have been. No one here as good as they would have, but it would have worked, so. Oh well. Um, yeah, okay, cool. 
So that is going to be probably it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed me chickening around a little bit and uh, piping uh, eggs into chests. And we'll probably be playing more of the chickens throughout the series because chickens is a real fun mod. I enjoyed it greatly. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I am out. See you guys next time.